Okay, so for our next assignment, uh, Ember wants to try betting on some sports, and she's going to try and use her own formula she's derived in order to determine who is the best player so she can bet a whole bunch of money on them. So we're going to jump into here, and in file 199, we can see the names of the files that have each of the different players. So D Dean Dugan is in file 219, and file 199 has a list of each of these files. Uh, so XA is going to hop right in there and grab file 199. We're then going to replicate and create an agent that's going to grab each one of these files to do some calculations of uh, Ember's custom formula here. This score equals and then a whole bunch of uh, statistics. Thankfully, they're in order in the file, so you don't need to worry too much about that. Uh, I'll look into the cal I'll show you how the calculation works, but let's first focus on what XA is doing. XA is going to count how many players there are, because that does vary, and then create a new agent. And it's going to tell them, hey, you're going to grab file 219. An execution agent A is going to grab M. It's going to grab that file. And then it's going to start doing the calculation. Uh, and then XA is going to keep going and creating new agents like this, telling them which file to grab while also keeping track of how many total players there are. Meanwhile, let's look at the calculation. Let's look at XA1. So XA1 is going to grab so it's this mathematical formula, and for this you do need to remember your order of operations here. So we have to do what's in the parentheses first. So we're going to add F and F, which are the first two, BA and ZA, to each other. And then we're also going to add F to that as well. So these first three things are going to get added together uh, to create... Well, I'm not going to know the numbers exactly. That gets me at 250. Then uh, it needs to be... Hmm, supposed to be divided by... Oh, yeah, no, it is being divided by three. Sorry, I'm skipping. I skipped a step. Uh, yeah, so that gets divided by three. Now, we need to calculate this value right here, like the whole thing. So inside the parentheses first, then the division, and then we add that solution into what we had calculated over here. So we're going to store that kind of information in the T register. So we multiply WRT times OI, and then we divide it by OD, which are all these things that are in the file. And then we're going to add the results of that into the X register. So now the X register is everything up to this point, up to this second plus sign, like outside of the parentheses. So then we have to do uh, PC minus PS. That's this line here. We're gonna multiply the result by 20 and then we're going to add that result to what we currently have our running total. We now have that player's score according to Ember's formula. Now what he's going to do is he's going to go back and copy the player's name. So an X is the player's score and T is the player's name. We're now going to be waiting. We're, we are waiting on a void M call and we switched our mode. So we're in local mode. So we're waiting for somebody on local mode to send a message to us. And that somebody is going to actually be execution agent A. So once A has finished deploying the army that's going to calculate on every single player. So now we've got the army deployed. <clears throat> A is at the end of the file and knows it. Uh, so now he has 10 total players. He's going to create a new file, and the new file is going to keep track of our current best player. Uh, so we're going to start with 0-0, zero, zero, because we don't know any players' names. We don't know any players' scores. And we're going to signal to get somebody to tell us, what, what did you get? So we're going to first check to make sure that we've done all 10, haven't finished all 10 players. I put my check at the beginning this time. Uh, we didn't, so now I'm going to go into local mode. I'm going to switch to local mode. I'm going to send a message out. It doesn't matter who receives it because eventually I just want everybody to receive the message. So I copy it out. Somebody will pick it up. And then the two of us are going to switch into global mode so that we can communicate without any kind of interference because everybody else is waiting on local. We can do our work in global, even if we're in the same register. Because we're both in global, we can communicate without talking to anybody locally. So what I do is I receive from the player that received my signal, which is XA0, or the agent that got it, uh, what score did you get? And I check to see, is that score better than what I currently have? Because I'm starting at zero, it is. So what I do is I overwrite the score and the name of the player there. And once XA0 has reported, they reports his score twice and then the name, he knows he's done. Whether or not it was better or worse, he doesn't care. He reports the score twice and the name once. Uh, and then he's done. And now execution agent A is like, okay, well now do I need to get another player? I do, signal, 
Okay, give me your score. That was 345. That one's worse. So what I basically do is I just void the two coming information from XA1 that I don't care about. So I'm running void M on that twice. I've received it, I've consumed it so that XA1 knows to terminate, but I haven't overwritten anything because it's not a better stat. So now we're gonna get to the next player. And this guy's gonna give me 776, which is much better than the 353 that we have there. So that's gonna overwrite with a new name and a new player. And this cycle will continue. We'll, we'll keep signaling, give me your players, give me your scores, uh, until we've gone through all of them. Now we are holding in our hands the theoretical best player, 776 David Dwight. So what I do is I jump to my done, I seek back to the beginning of the file, which is the score, and I'm gonna erase that because the in the end result, we only want it, the name of the player to be stored in the file. We don't care about the score. And then we halt because we are done. And we will repeat this process each time to find our best players. And theoretically, if uh, you can calculate st sports statistics and gamble on them, we'll make a whole lot of money, right? Right? Uh, but we did pretty, pretty fair on our cycles there and pretty average on everything else. So I'll take it. Thank mm -hmm. you.